Hi everyone, Megan Spears, nurse practitioner here from Healthy Tomorrows. Today I wanted to go over a little molecule, or actually it's a pretty big molecule, called NAD, or nicotinamide adenonide dinucleotide. I know that's a long name, so we're just going to stick to NAD. NAD is a wonderful molecule for our cells, and actually without it, our cells can't function. And so if we want to go back to biology class, I drew a little cell here. You get the idea. It's a cell. We, um, I drew uh, the middle part, which is the nucleus, and then we have these little red areas, which represent mitochondria. And mitochondria is actually what gives our cells energy. And without them, or without NAD, our mitochondria couldn't work. And so the, the mitochondria work through a process called ATP, and that's our energy production. So our energy production for doing pretty much anything that our cells do or our body does. So sleeping, working, running, anything that we do. So if our energy production is low in our mitochondria because we are depleted of NAD, well, then we feel sluggish and we don't feel well. And so NAD being a coenzyme powers our cells, but it does much more than just power our cells in the mitochondria. It actually works with something called sirtuins. Sirtuins are also in the cell, not really represented on this picture, but they're in there. Sirtuins are a group of proteins and we have sirtuin families and sirtuins actually help with cellular health and help mop up messes. And messes you might think of as, or could be called toxins. So viruses, bacteria, but toxins can also be considered or given to us from different sources. So we can get toxins from the foods we eat. We're not eating the right foods. We're not getting the right nutrients. And so foods being nutrient depletion or depleted um, can give us toxins. We can also get toxins pretty much in everything we do every day. So our showers being one of those, taking a shower or a bath, we're actually exposed to tons of toxins if we're not using the right products. So if we're using a shampoo, cream rinse, body wash, soaps, anything like that, can be a toxin if it has chemicals, dyes, parabens, and other items that can be considered toxic for our body. But in addition, toxins can be from our environment. So if we work in an environment such, let's say, a salon of some sort where they're using chemicals, that can be an environmental toxin. If we're working in an industry where there's a lot of fumes coming out of some sort and motors or something like that, that can be an environmental toxin. In addition, if we smoke or vape, that's an environmental toxin. Other toxins can be things like narcotics, prescription medications, opioids, and alcohol. Those are toxic to our body. And so when we take these things into our body, our NAD production will deplete or not be able to produce if we have too much buildup of toxins. So if we're taking these things in on a daily basis, or we're taking in alcohol at a very large amount um, per day, then our NAD to pr production actually depletes or doesn't work at all. So if you think we're born, we have 100% NAD. Have you seen a kid run around and you're thinking, where did they get all that energy? Well, it's because they have tons of NAD. Their mitochondria are working appropriately and so are their sirtuins. It's not until we get older or some children will be exposed to a virus, bacteria, or something else that's toxic to those cells and that depletes our cellular health and our cellular health or our cells can't do what they're supposed to do. So sirtuins that I talked to you about before actually I like to refer them or use an analogy of them being road workers. So sirtuins, let's let's let me show, give you a little picture of what they do. So sirtuins, they sit on the outside of the cell or your I'm sorry, your genes and or your DNA, I apologize, your DNA. 
and they sit and protect the DNA. Well, when we have a bunch of toxins, and then you're gonna throw some stress in there, I mean, who else isn't stressed these days? And if you have more than the average man, or even the average man or woman, then you got stress added on there. And so now the sirtuins are not only stepping away from the DNA to go clean up messes, now your DNA that has already been predisposition for diabetes, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's addictions, that DNA has now been flipped on because the sirtuins are stepping away, mopping up messes. So I like to think of them and use that analogy, like I mentioned before, as road workers. So they're road workers cleaning up messes or, or filling in potholes, cleaning the street, putting tar on the cracks that are cracked in the street. And so they get so busy doing all of this, they lose their way back to the DNA and they can't get back because they're cleaning up all these messes and all these toxins and they can't keep up. And so you have to think of NAD in this analogy as the boss or the paycheck. And so now the sirtuins are saying, hey man, I'm not getting paid enough for all this mess. Well, their paycheck is NAD. So they don't have enough NAD or money payment to pay them to clean it up. So now the cells are not healthy. They're not doing what they need to do. And now we have defective DNA. Well, with defective DNA, now we have symptoms. We have fatigue. We have tremors. We have all kinds of different things going on in our bodies, which then leads to what? A diagnosis. You get a diagnosis, you get what? Sometimes a prescription. And not saying that prescriptions aren't good, sometimes they are and sometimes we need them. However, a lot can be caused or lead to a toxic like effect to our body because they deplete nutrients and deplete our bodies from things that we actually need. And so now we have these unhealthy cells, we have symptoms that have led to a diagnosis and now we have this depleted NAD, which leads to our mitochondria that doesn't have any energy to do anything, and we feel like crap. So how do we get NAD? How do we get it back if we've lost it? Because we had 100% when we were born, and now we've lost production. We're losing even more production if we continue to expose our bodies to these toxins, stress, and addictive substances. So how do we get it back? Well. There's a couple ways. One is supplementation. However, if we're already to this part here, a supplement's probably not gonna work, especially if our gut health is an imbalance either. So the only way that we can actually get our NAD production back or get it to our cells to start repairing is through an infusion, and that's what we do in our office here at Healthy Tomorrows. We give you an infusion of NAD right systemically into the body where it needs it most. And that's really important because then the mitochondria starts getting NAD because it can't function without it and we start getting energy. And our sirtuins, those road workers, are now being able to work faster to repair things and get back to protecting our DNA where they need it and turning that switch off. So it's really important molecule and coenzyme that really doesn't get enough credit for everything it does. And so it's important to get that NAD back in our system. So here at Healthy Tomorrows, this is something that we do, like I mentioned, and those clients that we've had that have done the infusions, it's amazing their results, whether it's not having an addiction anymore or recovering from another diagnosis or being able to kind of backpedal and get some relief from this diagnosis and help those symptoms. So it's very important and, and the smiles and the energy they have. And I had one client um, say he felt so great. He could do everything that he wanted to do before and he was so stuck that he couldn't function to the most appropriate and do the things he, had, he needed to do. And now he's sleeping better. He has all this energy. His girlfriend said, he looks 10 years younger, right? Because he's getting the sleep he needed because his cells weren't working and so he couldn't sleep because they're trying to repair themselves, but they can't because they're damaged. 
And so again, NAD, very important molecule coenzyme for our bodies. And I encourage you to come see us here at our clinic and get an infusion of NAD and see how you feel. I appreciate your time. And if you have any questions, you can certainly email us or call us and we can help you with those. Have a great day.